Thank you. Commonwealth Human Rights Initiative for a video statement, please. The Commonwealth Human Rights Initiative commends the government of the Republic of Kiribati for accepting 88 recommendations fully and one partially out of the 129 recommendations received during its third UPR cycle. We appreciate its legislative efforts on issues such as climate change and disaster risk management as well as access to quality and inclusive education. However, we regret that it has noted 40 recommendations during this UPR cycle. While appreciating the role of the National Human Rights Task Force in facilitating the country's engagement with UN human rights mechanisms, we call on the government of Kiribati to further ensure the task force's independence and enhance its capacity through technical assistance from regional as well as UN bodies. We welcome the completion of the scoping study for establishing a national human rights institution in the country. We commend the efforts by Kiribati to eliminate discriminatory societal stereotypes against women. However, we underline that it has merely noted the recommendation calling for broadening the constitutional definition of discrimination which does not include sex or gender as prohibited grounds. We urge Kiribati to intensify efforts to remove structural barriers to the right of women to transmit their nationality to their children and foreign spouses on an equal legal basis with men, to ensure equal rights of women to land ownership and inheritance and for exercising their agency by having access to sexual and reproductive services, including by decriminalizing abortion. We call on the government of Kiribati to take proactive measures to create community awareness about the remedies available to victims and survivors of domestic and gender-based violence. We urge Kiribati to decriminalize consensual same-sex relations between adults and to amend its penal code to criminalize human trafficking in line with international standards, including trafficking within the state's borders. Lastly, we call on Kiribati to continue its commitment towards implementing the UPR recommendations in a robust and time-bound manner. Thank you.